Let's review once again the design models for our guessing game application. This time though we'll do it for our servlet edition. Here's a workflow style model showing the things that are going to happen on the client side and the server side. We can see that we'll need to initialize the game and set a random target. After that on the client side we can show them a form which will allow us to get their first guess. The first guess will be submitted and sent back to the server. We'll then need to compare the guess with the target. Several things can happen here. Either the guess is too low or too high. In both of these cases, we'll display back on the client side a message to tell the player if the guess was too low or too high and then get the next guess. So another form here. The third thing that could happen when we compare the guess with the target is that it's just right. In this case, we're going to display something slightly different. We're going to tell them that the correct guess has been made, congratulate them, and show them how many guesses it took to make the correct guess. Here's how we can see the client side views with some simple wireframes. And you'll notice this is no different than before when we had our JSP example. The only difference is what's going to create these views. The first view is when we give a welcome message and instructions and get the first guess from the player. The second wireframe shows either we guess high or too low and the instructions message could show the difference here, but otherwise it'll be the same form. And then the third view shown is a message showing that they got the correct guess and how many guesses it took. Again, the only difference between this and our prior application is not what the user will see, but how two of these wireframes will be accomplished. We'll see that on the next slide. Here we're going to show the Java web components that we need to create to accomplish these tasks shown in the workflow. For our servlet example, we're going to continue with the index.jsp being the welcome file and let it handle the initialization of the game and showing the form which will give the player the chance to make the first guess. After the first guess is made and the request back to the server is implemented, then we're going to let a new component called game servlet handle the rest of the items in the workflow. We're going to let it be both the controller determining which things need to happen based on the comparison of guess with target and we're going to let it generate the views. The third component we need for our application is the same as in our previous example. We're going to continue working with our game number class diagram. If you recall this will hold a simple value and you can think of it as like a super number, a number with superpowers, if you will. It just holds the number but it also lets it randomize itself, increment itself, and of course we have the requisite constructors and setter and getter for the value. We want to reuse this because reuse is an important concept that's related to object-oriented programming. Everything that uses object-oriented programming from SOA, BPM to web applications relies on the ability to reuse classes. Besides, why reinvent the wheel when we've already created the game number class? This has been a Piercy production.